Hi, I would just like to take a few seconds of your time and talk to you about your life and how it involves knives. You may be asking yourself, why knives in the comparison to your life? Well, yes, this channel is about knife reviews, sticking with that theme, but also at the same time, I'm someone that wears a mini hat with my day-to-day, -day, my real life job, the day job, and then also in my beliefs, you know, I'm a Christian, I'm also a preacher. And in looking at the knife, the process of knife making and how it compares to your life, you may be saying right now, man, I am struggling. I am going through my fiercest battle. It just feels like I just can't take another step further. And that type of stuff and what we face, I got to think about how a knife is made. You see a knife, See this knife, we know a handle, we know the blade, but all we see right now is the finished product. We see the finished product of this knife. We don't see the details that went through to make this knife, but all we see before us is the finished product. And you may be asking, how does that compare to my life right now? You may be going through that struggle, that fight, but a knife goes through many processes to get to the final result. What is that final result? It's the knife with all its parts finished. So you see, you may say, I'm just going through a struggle. It just feels like everything's just burning up around me. My walls are falling down. That's your forging process. A knife starts off as just a bunch of metal. And you take that metal and you heat it you know, up, you get it malleable. You gotta be malleable. Life can be hard. But we can be strong like metal, like that, you know, the steel, iron, whatever is used in that knife, whatever the components of that knife, is have those components that are separated. But the knife is all those parts put together as a whole. And you see, you may say, yes, I'm struggling. It's just you going in the forge. Well, and then you may say, man, it just, I just can't catch a break. It's just up and down, up and down. But that's your hammering out process, you know, the tempering process. They, they take the hammer and they hit that malleable metal and make it the shape they want to be. And then you may say, why do we do that? Because you don't want no cracks forming in the blade. You don't want no weaknesses being in the blade. So you do all these steps to get rid of the weakness. You may be facing this thing to get rid of the weakness and the things inside of you that are going to cause you to fail. You're learning as you grow. As that knife goes through each step, it gets closer and closer to the final product. We get closer and closer to who we're supposed to be and what we're supposed to do. But we can't stop at one point. You can't stop at point A or point B. You gotta finish it. Stay strong, finish strong. That quenching process, or everything that it takes to be make, make a knife can be applicable to your life. But the end result is keep at it keep persevering and every, and grow you know get rid of the cracks get rid of the things that can cause you to, you know to break apart how do you do that keep pushing forward take it one day at a time and remind yourself that you're just like that blade and when people and you may say well people say this about me or that about me just tell them you haven't seen my final product you haven't seen what I'm going to be or what I'm going to do show them who you are and what you can do.